Okay, I feel like I have been introducing you already a tiny little bit to transitions. Please move to the transitions tab and normally if you are completely lazy, you select all of the slides by selecting the last one, pressing shift, the first one, and you select one transition for all of them. For example, a fade transition. You can now see what happens. And I will show you a preview each time. Let me quickly go to slideshow, set up slideshow, and since I have a big monitor, I want to browse in window. And here on the bottom side, I can start my slideshow. As you can see, as I press my buttons, this is a normal fade transition between slides. I'm going to transition. Now you have different kinds of transitions and this morph transition is only available for Office 365 subscribers and those who purchase Office 365 from what I know. Okay, the morph transition is a very interesting transition because it takes information from this slide and it tries to transform it into the next slide. But that's very advanced. Normally you use those simple transitions. The fade, although it might be the most simple one, it's the most beautiful one. But I would also want to dare you to create a few slides like I have here. And you can see this little star. This little star informs you that there is a transition on this slide. And I would like you to select the first slide. Select one transition. Select the next slide. Select another one. Select the next slide. Select another one. I've selected the split transition for this one. If there is the possibility, on the right side you have effect options and you can select the direction of the split. Not all transitions do have those effect options. And this is similar in animations. Not each animation has those options, but certain animations do. Let's for example select reveal. Okay, in the reveal we also have a few options. True, true black from right. You can see this is how the reveal would work. Maybe random bars. Random bars can use it vertical or horizontal. So as you can see, some of them are not like very advanced, but they at least have like two options of appearing. And, but in my opinion, those random bars, well, they look kind of old school and I don't really use that. I, I like to use those, those other ones creatively. And I really like the split, for example. And those are the basics when it comes to transitioning between two slides. I would like to show you one last thing. Look at this slide. On the next slide, I have fade. So if I press shift F5 to start my presentation, and I press right, I have a very quick fade. If you would like this to take longer, on the right side you have timing. And this is very important. You could add a sound, but this is kind of cheesy, at least in, in my case. I could extend the duration of the transition on the next slide to two seconds or even three seconds. Now let me go back and look how slowly this fade would now take. It would take three seconds. A very slow and steady fade. And you need to remember about each transition. If you would like it to be longer, just go to the next slide and raise the duration. Another thing which is connected to the timing of the presentation is do you want the slide to proceed on, on mouse click? Or do you want the slide to proceed after three seconds? In this case, after three seconds would pass, it would continue to the next slide. Let me show you. Shift F5. One, two, three. And it will proceed. It took like five seconds because we had the three second fave before it. So you need to have the timing somewhat in your head. Usually it's not as important because usually if you are presenting, you will select on mouse click and unless you don't click your mouse, it will not proceed. But if you plan to create a video and now you might remember file, 
export, create a video. Do you remember? Use recorded timings and narrations. Don't use recorded timings and narrations. If you select use recorded timings and narrations, if there are any, like we have here now, this doesn't matter. Seconds spent on each slide isn't relevant at all at this point because PowerPoint would treat this as the priority. How much seconds we do have here and how much seconds do we have in this point. So as you can see, there is a lot which comes into transitions. I hope you are not doing anything you were just listening to me because this is a lot to cover, a lot of information. What I want from you is to open up PowerPoint, have several slides, click on transitions and eventually raise the duration of, of the transitions. Then simply go to the first slide or just press F5 on your presentation and preview what happens. You can experiment with it a little bit, but the general rule is you are transitioning between the slides. Those are not animations, those are transitions.